This morning we're down here on the Thames, River Thames um, in Oxford. One of my favourite stretches, uh, Medley. The River Thames this year, there's, there's been a, a massive increase, a huge boost of roach and um, we're down here today. I'm going to try and catch them on my favourite method. My favourite method is catching them on the waggler. Now, I've started today as I would do in a match. Um, I've started on the feeder and given it 45 minutes on the feeder um, for a few, few bites, but nothing spectacular. While I've been doing that, I've uh, been con continuously loose feeding the waggler line. How I started, I put in 10 big pouchfuls of hemp straight down the middle of the river. It's a unique way of doing this. Um, it's a way that I've fished. It's a way that I've fished for the last 20 years. Um, and I've found that it works for me. So 10 pouches have gone in down the middle of the river. We finished on the feeder for now. Uh, we've had a few bites and now we're going to start on the waggler. My go-to rod for waggler fishing on the Thames is the Drennan 13 foot Acolyte Ultra. Um, reason being, it's got nice soft action and we're not fishing that far out today. On this rod is my 3000 uh, size reel with two pound main line and on my heavier setup again a 3000 size reel with two and a half pound main line when I need to bring the uh, fish in quicker either over weed or out the way of pike. My float choice for today is the Drennan 2 gram loaded insert crystal comes with three different tips uh, black one for today um, also comes with yellow and orange but my more positive rod is the two and a half gram um, a little bit thicker little bit thicker tip for more positive fishing started off on my heavier gear first my heavier rod more positive with a strong out shot pattern we have had trouble with bleak um, so as the days progressed uh, I've gone with a bulk and one dropper but again still trouble with bleak. I've then changed as the session's gone on I've changed um, to be fishing tears on my lighter setup. My lighter setup consists of two number 10s and just a number 10 swivel. As the sessions progress throughout the day I've caught a few roach on the tear um, and again once I've worked out and searching my peg catching the roach Unfortunately, there's been a few pike move in and we've lost a few fish to pike. We've caught some roach. It's been quite difficult, but by searching my peg, I've managed to find the roach a little bit further down my peg. talk about location um, actually where I'm fishing the waggler today um, I'm looking at my peg I'm trying to work out where the weed is today there is no weed um, just before the middle so I'm actually fishing down the boat channel in about four foot of water I look at my peg as a clock um, and when we start fishing on the first session, I'll start feeding basically bang on 12 o'clock in front of me. As the session goes on, I'll even start feeding just down my peg at two o'clock. The aim for that is to try and draw fish up from the peg below me. I do this by feeding 10 to 20 grains of hemp every time every two or three minutes and also I'll think nothing of feeding up to about three points of hemp during a session. I'm going to talk about my hemp and actually the way I prepare it. I use a giant hemp which is pretty much twice as big as the normal hemp that we can buy. The way I prepare this is we have to cook it um, and what I will do is I will obviously take it out of the bag and I will soak my hemp 
for up to a week before I even think about cooking it. I'll soak it in the water and I'll leave it in the fridge. It's important to leave it in the fridge because it stops it from going sour. After a week, I'm then, I will then start to boil it. I will add three to four um, iron tablets and also I will boil it for up to two or three hours before it actually starts to split. The main reasons I use it is A, it can be very accurate when it's a difficult day like this. Uh, B, I can feed further than most people, which means I can outfish them. And the most important reason for me is it actually matches my tear hook bait. We've come to the end of the session today. It's been quite a difficult session to be brutally honest. I've started on, um, started on my heavy rig, pestered by bleak, switched to my light rig with tears, and I've been pestered with pike as well. I've gone through, hang on, well there you go, I've gone through six, well, two packets, 16 hook lengths. However, I've caught some fantastic roach on a fantastic method, the waggler on a fantastic river.